Greetings, this is Stasia Bliss with Basmati.com and your 30-day meditation challenge. We are getting into the last couple of days of the challenge. Today is day 28. So, I would like to work with you today with the Merkaba field. So, for those of you who are not familiar, Merkaba is your light body. It's set up like two pyramids that are overlapping. One is a masculine, one is a feminine feel, and they basically surround your body, you sit within it. One spins in one direction, one spins in the other, and this is what is also helps you to travel if you are in the astral, and I believe eventually this will be a tool for travel on a much deeper level. But for now, I just want you to tune into your Merkaba with me. So, we have the upward facing pyramid, which sits from the navel, and it, it's upward. So, this one we're going to spin to the left. This is your feminine uh, triangle. And then we've got the downward pyramid, and it is from the navel down below the base of the earth, and this one is spinning to the right. So, I want you to first just settle into that imagining of these two pyramids. There's a couple of different ways that this is imagined. So, for this meditation, I want you to imagine that the lower pyramid, the point is facing down into the earth, and the upper pyramid, it's overlapped. There's two ways. The top can be facing upward or out to the front. And this is different depending on what you're using it for. So we're just going to do the top is facing up and the bottom is facing down and we overlap in the middle. So just get a sense of these two pyramids first. Eventually there is a third pyramid. So uh, some people feel that third pyramid as the top when it faces out. But we're just going to go with these two to begin. So the upward pyramid, I want you to imagine it beginning to spin counterclockwise. So we're just going to get a sense of it. You're sitting in the middle of it, and this upward facing pyramid from the navel up is turning to the left. So with each breath, just start to spin that upward pyramid left to the left counterclockwise. And really get a sense of that spin. And then shift attention now to the base pyramid with the point facing into the earth. This one continues to spin to the left. The Bottom pyramid turns to the right. It is the masculine energy. So it begins to turn to the right clockwise. Now the top is spinning to the left. So they're going in opposite directions, right over the top of one another. So get a sense for that. So really tuning into that base pyramid, turning to the right now. So when you're first working with these two pyramids, the center pyramid is stationary, and that is why some get confused. We'll probably work into that one tomorrow, I'm feeling. So, coming back to the upward pyramid at the top, 
We're gonna take some deep breaths, and as we blow out the breath, that spins that top pyramid to the left, so inhaling. Spin to the left. Spin it to the left, one more. Spin it to the left. So we're just kind of getting tuned into these two pyramids, going to the bottom facing pyramid that spins to the right. We're going to take a deep breath in and spin it to the right. Begin to feel these two spinning now, commanding that they both spin at equal speed in opposite directions. So you can tell your body, I now command the upward pyramid facing left to spin at equal speed to the lower pyramid that is spinning to the right. And just begin to feel those two even out. So the ka in the Merkaba, this is a light body. So you're tuning into a light vehicle. And as you do this, you start to feel that you are in a larger cocoon. A larger field is created around the Merkaba field. As we will get into more tomorrow, this is like a field of intent. So as you activate your Merkaba body, your Merkaba field, you recognize that tuning into this left and right spinning pyramid, you have access to the active and the receptive part of your being, the creative and the dynamic that what you put out, you get back. This is that field, it's magnetic and electric. So feel yourself as the still point inside this field of intent and inside this Merkaba body. All spins around you and manifests around you and it begins with the still point at the center, the commanding station, if you will. That is you. So coming right into the Jyoti, the flame at Anahat in the heart center, you can feel yourself as the still point of creation. So here is where we bring intent for our manifestation right into the heart center. And as we breathe it in and put it out into the Merkaba field, we can see how that helps to manifest the things into our world that we are thinking. So it's very important to maintain awareness and vigilance about what you hold in your heart and what you hold in your mind because these two are automatically already, even when you're not aware of your Merkaba field, it's still there, it's still actively helping you create. So when you become aware of the field, you need to become a more responsible feeler and thinker, knowing that it just takes the change of thought here to affect here. So let's bring intention into the heart space right now for peace, empowerment, if you will will with me, empowerment in the people of the world, self-sovereign empowerment, during this time of, some might view chaos or disruption, dropping into a pure, empowered sovereignty, knowing that as we each take control of our heart space and come into peace, love, and gratitude, for what we have, for the world we live in, we know we become masters of it. So holding that space, I feel a great lot of emotion in the collective. 
So with me, if you could imagine superimposing yourself over the entire planet and feeling the entire planet's Merkaba now. So if you can imagine with me, you are the Earth. And the Merkaba field of the Earth now is spinning the left field and the right field together. Let's do three breaths. Spinning those fields and feel a heart of peace and contentment, a heart of ascension. And knowing that much of the turmoil we see around us is a cleansing of the collective chakras. That which has been in the in the shadow of the whole is surfacing. So we stay here in the center, in the eye, in the heart of the planet. Radiate out this energy of co-creation, knowing that for a moment we are going to see that which we are not, so that it may move out of the field so that we can express that which we are. So holding with me in the heart space, love, peace, gratitude. And let's end with breathing into the heart as we did in another meditation. Gratitude for everything that we do have on this earth. All of the relations, the ability to travel, the forests, the food, the beauty, the magnificence of this planet and the diversity of it. Let's find so much gratitude for this earth and for our lives here for all the wisdom available to us and all the magic. Breathe that into your heart with me. And let's end with three sounds of OM for ourselves, for our communities, and for planet Earth. Inhaling deeply. OM. so much for joining me yet again on basmati.com. This is Deja Bliss. We'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.